Alrighty, hello guys, welcome you faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in KSP2, which is kind of interesting, given uh, what I've said about the game. Anyway, I own the game now, so we're going to go ahead and try and get better at it, because we own it. Um, I'm assuming that the updates in the future are going to make this game better and more worth it, if that makes sense. But anyway, we're going to jump into a single player game, we're going to go ahead and start a game, and uh, this time we're going to lead with a smaller rocket and hopefully get into orbit. That is my plan today. Let's see if we can do it. Okay, so let's try and build something that is very simple to begin with using the tin can. There we go. Awesome. That is our good start. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and add some methyl locks down below it, and we're going to add a small little engine underneath that. Then underneath that, we can go ahead and have the decoupler. There we go. So this thing will de be decoupled um, on its own, if that makes any sense to a server. So we'll have still some meth... What is it? Methane and oxygen. Uh, that's able to push us around in space, some maneuvering, um, and then that'll be good. So that'll be our little detachment pod at the top. Uh, underneath that, we're then going to have our big booster, which is going to be probably actually really large, like this one. Uh, and we'll probably do about two of those and one of these. There we go. That seems pretty large, but hopefully it's worth it. Okay, so underneath that, we're going to go ahead and attach this guy. And this honestly seems like quite a big rocket so far, but I'm sure it's fine. Um, we have solid fuel boosters too, just in case we need those, uh, and we have more decouplers too, which is awesome. So, what my main job is now is to make this look pretty. Yeah, <laughs> that, that is my main my main issue right now. So we're going to go ahead and attach that to there like so. We're going to add the solid fuel boosters to that, uh, just like so, and that's a bit high. Actually, that is very high. Let's go ahead and put that in the bin. Alright, bring this down to there, and then reattach them onto there. Yes, okay. That might be cool. It might also not work, but we'll see. So, that's good. That's good. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to find a nose cone, and we're going to attach it directly onto there, which is working so far, and a parachute is going to go directly onto the top of there. Okay. Yeah, this seems like a much more simple rocket than last time, and hopefully it does actually work uh, as well. <laughs> That'd be good if it does. That'd be very good if it does. Anyway, aerodynamics, let's go ahead and get ourselves some wings. Uh, or at least some stabilizers, and smack them on there too. So, if I can, I want to put them in between these, just like this. Bosh. They're, that actually looks alright. I don't really want to change them all that much. Let's move them up slightly, and leave them there. That's good. That is actually good. Alright, so, this will get us to space. Let me go ahead and paint it real quick, and I'll be back with you guys in a second. Alright, so I added some red, uh, literally just in the middle, and I painted the top bit more grey than it was. That is essentially all I've done. Uh, what I want to do now is actually try and find the engines that we can use uh, whilst we are in space, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, I can't remember what they actually are though. I, I don't know what they're called. Uh, utility? It might be utility. RCS thrusters, yes. So these allow us to actually like... Uh, direct ourselves while we're in space. I do believe. I, I think that's the case anyway. I'm not entirely sure on that. Let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, I think that's all good. Uh, a stabilizer? I guess a stabilizer does make sense. So, oh, but we can't put it there. Although we can put it there. Okay, right, so move this to the side. Grab one of the... Uh, one of these? Yeah, whack it on there. Whack this guy directly on top of there. And now we have a stabilizer. I think this will work. Okay, so I've also added some solar panels to the side as well, because I feel like they're useful in some sort of some sort of way. Uh, we need some sort of communication that will happen too, so we'll add... I guess we only need one of these, uh, but I'm not entirely sure where to put it. Um, so we, I might actually put them there. I mean, they look kind of interesting there, so let's do that. Uh, so we can actually communicate back down with base. Um, and then, do we need something like a... Um, I, I don't know, like... I don't know how you do the research in this game normally, but I'm assuming we need a research thing. But I, I actually don't know. I, I feel like we can leave it like this. Let's leave it just like this. I think we can we can probably make this work. Okay, so uh, let's try and figure this out then. So we set the solid fuel boosters off first. Actually, we're also going to go ahead and um, have this rocket go off as well. Which means we're going to get rid of this one, and then we decouple that, and we end up with this, and the parachute. I feel like the parachute should be in its own little section, though. So let's let's add a piece, drop that booster down into there. Parachute is the last thing. That seems to make sense to me. I think. Yeah. Alright, let's launch it and see what we can actually do this time. Okay, so here we are on the launch pad. What do you guys think of this? I think Bob is going to have a good time on this one. I feel like we are actually going to be able to get to space. 
uh, and maybe actually into orbit with this one. I am not entirely sure. Um, I'm not entirely sure of how we do this, but we're, we're gonna we're gonna test it and see what happens. So let's go ahead and just launch, and and go. All right. So I'm gonna throttle up to full. Um, actually, where is the throttle? It's on the side, and we're just gonna go. There was no countdown. This is going way quicker than the previous one, and it is actually working. Okay, good. Very, very good. Okay, so we should start probably turning a little bit. I'm assuming. I don't know. I, I actually really don't know. Um, okay, let's keep turning this way. All right, good. Let's have a little look at the map, see what this is actually doing. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, throttle down. Oh, actually, <laughs> we're now going to have to throttle up. Okay, detach those. There we go. Okay, right. Now we're in rocket form. Excellent. This is actually somewhat working. Good. And now we need to continue to... Whoa, it lags. It lags a little bit, but we're going to go sideways from here. Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. How do I turn this off? Okay. Alright, so now if we travel sideways... I feel like we might be able to get into orbit. I'm not <laughs> I'm not very good at this game, so I don't really know, but I feel like this is how you do it. I feel like this is definitely how you do it. However, we are running out of fuel uh, pretty quickly, so that's not amazing, but it's working. It, the, the first rocket we've done uh, today is actually working. Excellent. All right, so we detach that, and then we fly off. Do I start the booster? There we go. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Okay, right. Let's go ahead and turn this back on. Whack it on there. And throttle down. Just a little bit. We don't have to go full throttle. Okay, and it is actually somewhat working. All right, good. Yeah. We don't have that much fuel, though, so I'm, I'm a little bit concerned. Just a little bit. Okay, so we're still going around. There we go. We are still going around. But look at this. Look at this. All right, we need to direct ourselves back down to Earth a little bit. Oh, I've run out. <laughs> I've run out. We, we could have got into orbit if I was paying more attention. That's annoying. That is very annoying. Turn this off. And there we go. We're just going to float around in space. But look at it. We almost made it into orbit. That's awesome. That's really cool. All right. So if we were to actually do this properly, we would obviously extend the antenna. There we go. Uh, and that is going to enable us, enable us to uh, actually zoom down to Earth, I'm assuming. Uh, this should... Get some electricity. I don't think I added any extra batteries, though. I don't know whether the pod itself has batteries in it. I don't know. But um, now that we're floating in space, we can speed up time, and it's going to zoom out. And it's going to go follow this ring all the way around. We've got no external um, pressure or anything, so it won't change off of this course. And we will end up back on Kerbin very, very soon. Where is Kerbin? There it is. On the dark side of Kerbin. No! <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, okay, so we've, we've lost the sun, but we will find the sun again just before re-entry. I have no heat shields. I probably should have installed some. But this is... I mean, it looks fantastic. This looks great. Oh, my. Okay, right. We're heading back down into the atmosphere, and we're going to crash down down there somewhere. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Bob, I'm sorry. We're landing in the ice. <laughs> We're landing in the ice, Bob. I do have a parachute. There's no re-entry um, stuff either. The, uh, the the Kerbin doesn't seem to have an atmosphere, which is very strange. But look at this. Whee! There we go. All right, so I should be able to pop the chute. It isn't working. <laughs> okay. I wasn't able to actually pop the parachute, and I'm not sure why. But that was... That was good. I think we can get this into orbit. Let's try again. R.I.P. Bob. I'm sorry, Bob. I am very sorry. Okay, so what I think we should do is bring this down like so, grab another one of these, and whack it onto the tippity top of there. We're then going to attach the entire thing, uh, all of this, back onto there, and that's going to be us. I know it's very strange, but I think this is what I want. Yeah, because it gives us more time to actually get into space, gives us more time to push ourselves around in space, and that's great. Okay, so the next thing that I want to work on then is actually remove this real quick. Grab ourselves another tiny one. Whack it on there. Whack it on here. And there we go. 
Now we can go to space. Launch. Let's do this. All right, everybody ready? Three, two, one, go! Oh, here we go. We're getting into a countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. I don't know where the countdown actually is. <laughs> I don't know where the... Look, it says five there, but it's not actually... It wasn't counting down. It was not counting down. Okay, we're in the air. Good. We're already going to try and angle ourselves sideways. Okay, which may or may not be the best way of doing this. I'm not sure. But we have taken off. This is this is excellent. This looks so cool. Okay. Uh, right, let's have a little look at the map. See what's actually happening here. Nice. Right, so we are going, like, literally straight up. <laughs> it's not amazing, but sure. Okay, our solid fuel boosters are out. So let's go ahead and detach those. Let's throttle down on this guy. All right, try and get it in the right orientation in order to actually make this work. And we've got a lot of fuel left in this, so we should be good. Maybe. Okay, so maybe I didn't go high enough. I'm not actually sure, but we are still uh, really far away from the ground. That's okay. We are still... We still got actual fuel, so that's good too. And we are still moving, so this is perfect. I'm going sideways so that we can get ourselves into orbit quicker. Uh, and that is exactly what's sort of happening here. As soon as that gets all the way around, obviously we are then in orbit, which is excellent. And that's my only mission today. Remember, in the first video, my only mission was to actually get to space. So this is this is more of an accomplishment than you'd think. <laughs> Alright, we've run out of fuel. So now we disconnect that. We start this engine and we go again. Okay, which should get us into orbit. Okay, right. And then we point ourselves down. And we floor it again. Okay. Okay, we're in orbit. I don't know how to get myself in the quite the right orientation here, but we're going to go out a little bit more. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. I'm not entirely sure where I need to be on this. I'm going to go ahead and point at that, and we're just going to stay here in the in space. Okay, so, we can possibly make one orbit. <laughs> Maybe. So, let's go ahead and speed up time, and see what actually happens here. So we're going round. Oh, this is interesting. Whether this actually works or not, I'm not sure. Also, it, I am a big noob, okay? I'm a really big, really, really big KSP noob. But if this works, I'm going to be super happy. Um, okay, approaching. Oh, no, this isn't quite orbit because... Slow it down. We need to, like, zoom away. We need to zoom up. Like, a lot more. Here we go. Turn this off. I'm trying to get it away from the, the thingamabobby. So that we continue around. Yes. Okay, so. It might stay in orbit now. I'm not sure. Maybe. But I think if it was going to stay in orbit, it would have let us do something different. But it's sort of working, I guess. This is good. Yeah, look, it's letting us do it again. So now we can actually zoom around. Oh, this is awesome. All right, so let's say we wanted to do a re-entry. All right, do we just point down? <laughs> do we just turn this on? Uh, whack it into... Oh, normal. I don't know what any of this actually is. Radial in, radial out. Oh, okay. So this actually has features that allows us to increase or decrease how much of a circle we're doing or how big of an orbit we're doing i guess um okay so how do i go back down to earth let's just disconnect this point down and floor it okay here we go yeah pointing down and we are flooring it down to earth okay so eventually this this circle will get small enough that we will have a re-entry spot here we go and we'll be able to crash down into it yes okay fantastic uh, oh. Okay, okay, it's turning a bit more than I expected, but that's fine. We are now going to go down and crash. Go! Full speed. Yeah, it's working! Full throttle! Woo! Nice! Oh, we're out of fuel. We are out of fuel. Keep it going. Has my parachute... 
Will my parachute work this time? I oh, it's worked! Sort of. My parachute's working! I mean, I don't feel like it should have deployed yet, but sure. Wow! <laughs> We're going down! We're going down! Mayday! Mayday! Bob, you're gonna be fine. Bob, you're gonna be alright. The parachute has deployed. It's not quite caught the, <laughs> caught the wind yet, though. Oh, Bob, I'm sorry. Bob, I'm so sorry. Bob, the parachute! Oh! It worked! Yes! Yes! Oh, it actually worked for once. Excellent. Nice. Guys, we did it. We've done a re-entry. This is amazing. This is amazing. Alright, okay. Okay, so let's get down into the uh, the water. And this will be great. Here we go. Does it um float? Oh, that's it. That is not even on the water. The water's not even moving here. And I can still control this thing rolling around. All right, Bob, get out. We don't know what the physics are like in this location. They're, they're not real. They are not real, Bob. Okay. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do in this situation. You're okay, Bob. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Just fine. <laughs> Alright, well, anyway, I'm going to end this video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, let me know in the comments down below. And if you guys want to see me get a little bit better at this game, I will probably go watch some tutorials. But anyway, for now, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.